Hey, people. It's me again. So, anyways, um, one of the things that I want to talk about here, as far as that goes, in about a week, we'll find out what's going to happen to Chris Chan as far as that goes. And, you know, whether if he's held out for trial as far as that goes, or he's just declared incompetent to stand on trial, and then he gets sent to the Looney Bin, you know, for an indeterminate amount of time of that sort, or... Or he just gets sent back to, um, Casa de Chandler or whatever it is, you know. But I don't think that's really going to happen there. You know what I mean? But, considering all of that, you know, I'm not uncertain how this will probably play out, you know, but considering all of that, I think there was, like, different set of, um, circumstances, you know, if this sort of thing would have happened here where I live in California, as far as that goes, you know, then opposed to where he is in Virginia. But I think there's a lot of other things there that would have made things different at that point if he had been here in California instead, you know, because then the whole politics aside at that point is like the more bluer states tend to kind of take care of the disabled a lot better than the red states, you know. Because of the fact that there's just certain types of Christians who believe that somehow God is punishing them or punishing their family or something of that sort, which is a bit ridiculous when you look at it in the grand scheme of things as far as that goes. And the other thing there was to kind of draw more of the comparison to that point was, you know, that I don't know if that was really true at that point, that if, if Bob and, and Barb had allowed, you know, Chris to get sent to a special school at that point, if it was really, like, near a regular school, and then he could mainstream in the school at that point, that would have made it a whole lot more easier on them at that point there, because, um, for me, when I started going to school, I was in a special school, a specialized school, but it was, like, right next door to a regular school. And so, I would mainstream with some of the regular kids, depending on certain subjects and all that. And and sometimes, it's like the, the regular kids would go down and visit my school. You know, as far as that goes. So, that was one of the things there. So, um, anyways, I think that is just one of the other comparisons there. But the bigger problem was is that Orb had considered that there. You know, that would have helped them. You know. But the bigger problem was is that he didn't get all the help that he needed in that point because of, you know, how Orb was ashamed of Chris's condition and all that. and But it was also like what certain people had pointed out in there, you know, that especially Bob, you know, 
grew up at a time where where certain people that had certain conditions like that were paraded around like circus freaks and all that at the time. But, you know, he didn't really want that to happen to Chris, and so that was the whole uh, reasoning why he, he fought against, you know, this sort of thing there. And then the thing, you know, and Chris could have had a 501 plan or an IEP as far as that goes, depending on how it would have made it easier there in that state, you know. And then let alone how easy it would have been to get him on an IEP or a 501 plan. Yeah. And that would have made it a whole lot more sense there. So, that was one of the things that that they did wrong there. And then, there was probably a lot of other things because I don't know if Chris Chan was ever properly disciplined in some ways. You know. But, the bigger problem with us is that Borb had made him have that victim complex and all of that. And, and then, of course, Barb kind of infantizing him in some ways. Yeah. And that kind of caused that sort of thing to happen there, too. And then, let's see, um, there's a lot of other stuff there. And the fact that, that Bob had paid those those girl to be his friends when, you know, they were just there out of pity and obligation at that point. You know, and he had thought that those friendships were real, but they weren't. You know. And then, of course, the bigger problem was the fact that he didn't even bother with the psychologist as far as that goes because they, you know, he was opting for someone who just wanted to tell him what he wants to hear and rather than just, you know, walk him through certain things and to get him to draw his own conclusions about his condition, behaviors, and whatnot. And that was one of the bigger problems of all that, that he was just resistant to any of these sort of things of acknowledging the fact that he was in the wrong on on practically everything at that point. You know what I mean? But that is just one of those other things there. Not that I don't really want to go to into that much detail about that because everybody probably already heard about that sort of thing there. You know what I mean? So, considering all of that, I guess that's probably it. So, talk to you guys later.